Hey, John Britt here. Hey, today I'm going to have a little video on cleaning up the pots before you put them in the kiln. And I know it sounds kind of boring and stupid and obvious, but most of the time we forget it. And um, what happens is you, anything you make will be rock hard when it comes out of the kiln. And so it's much easier to smooth something out when it's uh, greenware and you can just rub it with a sponge than it is to grind it. Um, with a stone or, or have a glaze flaw. So basically I just spun like these cups. These cups were probably fine but I can see that I have finger marks on them and I would hit the foot Just keep doing that because these cups took me a long time to make it took me four days or something to make this like 120 cups and as soon as I put glaze on them well as soon as I get them out of the bisque usually I have to touch them up a little you know make sure there's no sharp edges um, but then if I put glaze on them then I'll have high points and spots that aren't bad or I'll be able to see like where I scored it and I didn't want that and um, so it's just a sensible way and what happens is usually you get in a hurry and you don't want to mess around with another job but this is a worthwhile job to do so like I can see here I can see there's just little spots or there's a spot like where the there's a kind of crack there a lot of times now this is on porcelain and so sometimes it's harder to do on stoneware because if you sponge a lot you'll get it'll bring up it'll wash away the fine particles and you'll only have um, you have sand grains or grog showing through so you have to figure out a way to do it you may do that when it's a little more leather hard these are verging on bone dry also, <laughs> be careful because they're very fragile and you can crush them. Okay, so that's the deal. Nothing exciting and I guess that's the whole point. I don't want exciting, I want stuff that comes out when I spend all this time. Alright, do 120 of those and we'll see you tomorrow.